today I'm reviewing the Aveeno Calm and Restore Redness Relief Moisturizing Face Cream. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsors or videos. So if you help support the channel, check out nobsb.com, to my Patreon community, or click on the link below. I really need to work on our website. Cameraman, we need to do something with the website. We gotta do it. Anyway, if you guys have any comments on it, let me know. Okay, so I'm always excited for a new goodie, and Avino's uh, Calm and Restore products so far have been really wonderful, so I thought I'd give this one a whirl and see how compared to their other cream and their other uh, Calm and Restore or their calming line, their fragrance-free line. So, Okay, so they say, Instantly hydrate skin and visibly soothe facial redness. Avino Calm and Restore Redness Relief Cream Face Moisturizer Formula with vitamin B5 and ceramide features a calming, feverfew, and nourishing oat formula to calm dry skin. I agree with all of that uh, for the most part. So, um, okay, let's get to the first criteria, which is packaging. Um, I thought this was glass, but I don't. I think it's a hard plastic. So, and it doesn't say anything about recycling on it. So, I have no idea. I think it's plastic, but I thought it was glass when I bought it. But anyway. And it's a jar packaging, so I'm not totally thrilled about that. So, um, anyway. However, there's not, I mean, there are some antioxidants in here. So, another type of package would probably have been better. So, whatever. Um, okay, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. It's also fragrance-free and has no real noticeable scent. So, that is wonderful. Something that's actually geared for sensitive skin that actually follows it up by not including fragrance. Shocker. Amazing. Uh, the manufacturing location for this one is the U.S., so no issues with that. So ease of use. It's a moisturizer. You can use it morning or evening. Personally, I've used it both morning and evening, and I really like it for both of those. Uh, my favorite use for this one currently is on my neck in the morning and evening. Um, I like it on my face a little bit, but it's uh, I just prefer something with a little bit more exciting ingredients, I guess, and peptides or something like that, and this one just kind of lacks for that. But I really like using it as kind of a last step moisturizer, especially on my neck um, during the day and evening. So uh, applies nicely, no issues with pilling. It doesn't feel greasy at all, which is really nice. A lot of these moisturizers end up feeling greasy or looking shiny. This doesn't at all. It doesn't have a matte finish, but it's not a shiny finish. It's a natural finish, really nice. Uh, nice other tip, I'll mix in a few drops of rosehip oil. I'm on a rosehip oil kick since one of my Patreons, Elias, sent me some rosehip oil and I'm loving it. So mixing that in with everything lately. But it works really nicely under sunscreen and everything else. So uh, very nice to use, very pleasant, very nice texture. I love the texture of it. It's wonderful. So um, absolutely no issues with uh, ease of use for this one. Uh, in terms of the beneficial ingredients in this one, so we've got... I've got a few. Okay, so I've got oat kernel flour. It's a soothing ingredient, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory ingredient. I've got panthenol, skin soothing and wound healing ingredient. That feverfew stem juice, which they mentioned, it's a good antioxidant skin conditioning ingredient. We've got Tinogard TT, which is one of those preservative antioxidant combo ingredients. There's several of them, BHT, hydroxyacetophenone. They're popping up everywhere where they're preservative, but they're also an antioxidant. I really... I don't know how really good of an antioxidant they are as much as they are just a preservative, but whatever spin the brands want to put on it to make it sound great, I get it. Or probably not so much the brands, but the manufacturers that make the ingredient. Okay, then finally we've got Ceramide NP, which is a skin identical ingredient, berry pear ingredient. In my opinion, it's a weak ingredient list for something that's claiming to calm, restore, and relieve redness. Um, I don't really see a lot of ingredients in here that are going to do that. I mean, they've got the kernel flour, panthenol, feverfew. Great, but they're really not high up the ingredient list. Um, the ceramide is the last ingredient, so it really isn't going to do much, especially the way ceramides are thought to work. Um, I really don't see any ingredient here that will really help a ton with redness. Maybe the oat kernel a bit, but... Um, they could have thrown in something else. So I'm just not super impressed with the ingredient list. So I'm impressed with the texture and everything else, but the ingredient list, not so much. Uh, okay, in terms of animal testing, Avino is not cruelty-free. Every I fall into this. Every single time I buy Avino, I think it's cruelty-free. And then I go to write the review and I realize again, over and over again, it's not, I don't know, bash that into my head that they're not cruelty-free. I don't know why. 
just something about the way they they market themselves. I always think it is, and then surprisingly realize they're not. Okay, in terms of performance, it really does a nice job hydrating the skin. I wouldn't say I found it super calming. I didn't notice it did anything at all to combat redness for myself. Um, I found products that are a little bit better, like the Purito Centella Unscented Serum helps with redness a ton more, or the Casarex Sick Intense Cream helps with redness a ton more than this does. Um, so I didn't find this product did much for that. Um, it's nicely hydrating. It's got a lot of slip ingredients in there, and um, but in terms of the actual ingredients, it's not the most exciting, but it does hydrate the skin nicely. And if you have dry skin, this on its own is probably not going to be enough. But if you use it over a hydrating serum or mix a little bit of oil in or apply a thicker sleeping mask over it, I think that will be much more beneficial for you. Um, it contains a few iffy ingredients for acne-prone skin. I've got cetera alcohol, dimethicone, and cetyl alcohol. So not a ton, but a few. Um, it really off Most of the hydration in this comes from the fatty alcohols and the slip ingredients in here. So... It's kind of a bummer, but anyway. Okay, in terms of the ninth criteria, which is price, I'm a little torn. So this is the full size, 50 milliliters, 1.7 ounces. Retails for $27. So, I mean, it's kind of affordable, although for what it is, it's pricey in my opinion. Uh, the new Stradia interface. Oops. Sorry, the new Stradia interface that just came out. Uh, it's same size, and it's less money than this stuff. So, I mean, and this is a brand with, in my opinion, a much better reputation overall. So, um, so I don't consider it super affordable. It's not ridiculously expensive, but it's right up there. They're, you know, 25 bucks or so. Once you get up past there, it's starting to get a little bit of expensive, especially for a uh, drugstore brand. Uh, in terms of the it factor... It's got the promise, but it just doesn't quite live up to the marketing claims of it in terms of calming and true redness relief. It's a nice formula, wonderful texture, absorbs really nicely, plays well with other products, but it just it just needs a little bit of something else to lift it over to make it more exciting, and it just doesn't do that. Um, it won't help, in my opinion, with sensitivity and redness, but overall it's a nice generic but hydrating moisturizer that work well for most skin types. So... Uh, with a 10 being a perfect score, I give this one a 6, um, which would be like a D, I guess. So mm -hmm. anyway, D is tough, but it will do fine for most people, which is kind of what the brand is aiming for. Drugstore, blanket, most people buy it. Won't have an issue. May not love it enough to repurchase it, but they won't be offended enough to return it, right? So mm -hmm. anyway, if you're in the mood for a new moisturizer, I'd say check out the Stradia if you're anywhere where it can get shipped to you, so... Anyway, interesting hearing from you guys if you had a chance to check this one out yet or not. Uh, and if you have what your thoughts are, so leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.